Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Limited Ward, and I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but uh, and I, I apologize for that. But uh, I have a new one for you today, and I hope to post another one very, very soon. Uh, though it's not going to be about Minecraft, it's actually going to be about pro programming. But um, I don't know if I'll end up posting it, but <laughs> so now you know what it'll be about. But anyway. Uh, the title of this video, as it suggests, is a one-wide half-adder, and that is exactly what I have done. Now, I, I have two different versions that I want to show to you guys today. Uh, I'll show you my first version, uh, which is not so good, and my second version, which is much, much better. Uh, and I'll explain why, and it'll be pretty obvious once you look at them. But um, here is the first version that I made. Uh, now, now, before I, I get this started... Um, First of all, what what is a half adder? A half adder is basically a logical uh, device commonly found in an ALU or uh, algorithmic, uh, no, ar arithmetic logic unit, um, which basically takes two bits and it adds them together, and that's that's essentially what it does. So um, the outputs for this would be. Let's see if I can get a sign out very quickly. Uh, sign uh, and then we'll place this here so if the input is 0 and 0 the output will be 0 and the carryover will be 0 if the input is 0 and 1 the output will be 1 with a carryout of 0 if the input is 1 uh, if the input is 1 and 0 uh, then the output will be 1 and the carryout will be 0 and if the input is 1 and 1, uh, then the output will be 0 with a carryout of 1. So what this essentially is doing is it's adding two bits together to allow for us to create um, numbers up to 2. <laughs> up to 2. Um, up to the number 2 in binary. And what you can do is you can link these together to create um, what are called full adders, which uh, take an infinite number of bits and allows you to add them together. Um, now, this right here is my one wide half adder, my first version of a one, hide, one wide half adder. Now, uh, by itself, you, you might say, well, okay, it's kind of cool because it's pretty big and it's kind of um, very redstone y looking, but uh, I mean, it's not that impressive. Uh, why, why is this? Why is a one wide half half adder so special? Well, the reason is that um, it is next to impossible to um, create a one wide half adder, and I had once thought that it was impossible. Uh, the reason being that you have to cross wires vertically, and that is. Um, almost impossible in Minecraft. It turns out that due to a property of half adders, um, there just happens to be one exception to the rule where that doesn't actually matter. Uh, and so it's sort of a weird loophole that really only applies to half adders and never apply, never can apply to anything else. Uh, but nevertheless, here is the one wide half adder. Now he, um, here's how it works. Uh, this is the output. This is the carry out that will link into uh, another uh, half adder. And these two torches right here are the inputs. So if I were to remove these torches, uh, now the output should be, uh, the input should be 0, 0. So the output should be 0 with a carry out of 0. So you can see that the output is 0 with a carry out of 0. And then if we add 0, 1, we will get an output of 1 with a carryout of, of 0. And if we input 1, 0, we get an output of 1 with a uh, carryout of 0. And if we input 1, 1, we get an output of 0 with a carryout of 1. And so you might be wondering, okay, great, so you just made a one wide half adder. Can you turn it into a full adder? That's the real question because I've seen other f full adders that are vertical, but you really cannot turn them into uh, a one wide. It, you you really cannot link them into a full adder, so they're essentially useless. Well, not completely useless, but uh, in the world of 
computers and things like that, they're essentially useless. So uh, this for this version, I have, in fact, devised a method of creating a full ladder. You'll note that there still needs to be a, one space in between them. That's pretty much impossible. To, it, it's pretty much impossible to have them be right up next to each other without um, causing short-circuiting because the wires would be too close together. Unless, of course, Notch or uh, Jeb adds some feature to the game where you can keep them separated, in which case I will certainly be posting a video about that, but uh, that does not appear to be happening anytime soon. Anyway, uh, you'll happen to note that when you uh, create a full adder, it is twice the length of uh, a half adder. So, and that's just the reality of having uh, this kind of shifting half adder, or full adder, rather. And it's very simple, uh, well, I guess it's not very simple, but nevertheless, uh, it took me a little while to do, but I, I, once I got the actual circuitry of this down, uh, it was quite simple to link them all up together. Um, now, I tried posting that on the Minecraft forum, and it turns out that someone had actually already made one that was much smaller than that. It was around, I think, uh, 8 by 6 or something like that, and so... Uh, I was pretty much disappointed because I thought that I had created the world's smallest half adder, or the world's smallest, smallest one wide half adder, um, and most compact one as well. But um, in fact, I was <laughs> outdone by um, someone who humbled me quite a bit. And so then I set about trying to do one better. I tried to make it even smaller than theirs, smaller than 7 by 6 by, but smaller than uh, 8 by 6 by 1. And. Um, what I found was that not only could I make it smaller, but I could make it 6 by 6 by 1, or 1 by 6 by 1, I guess, if you want to do length times width times height. And here it is right here. This is the uh, what I believe to be the absolute world's smallest um, one wide half outer, and the pr quite, pro quite possibly the smallest you can possibly make it. And also, another nice feature about these half adders is that none of them have any moving parts. I don't like having moving parts as as much as possible. I try to avoid pistons, not because I'm uh, I'm fearful of pistons, but because I just don't really like them. I I'm I am racist against pistons, I guess you can say. Um, it's now six o'clock. It works the same. Whoops, sorry about that. My my computer does that. Um, so it works exactly the same way. Uh, you input uh, z you input zero zero. You'd get an output of zero. Oh, and this is uh, before I do this. This is the output, and this is the carryout. So instead of having the carryout be behind the output, um, it's just below it, and um, this allows for a, m a much simpler way of uh, linking up them up together. Well, actually, it doesn't really lead to that, but. Um, it, it actually was still quite difficult, but nevertheless, um, you can create a full adder using this method, and I'll show you it in a bit. So, obviously, it works with all the necessary inputs. Um, 0, 1 gives you an output of 1 with a carryout of 0. Uh, 1, 0 gives you an output of... Uh, or 1 plus 0 gives you an output of uh, 1 with the carryout of 0. And then uh, 1 plus 1 equals uh, 0 with a carryout of 1. And by the way, if, if you're wondering what the carryout is, it's basically um, just like in binary or in any counting system, once you run out of symbols, uh, you have to bring come over to the next digit. So this is essentially bringing you over to the next digit. Uh, now, I was able to successfully create a, um, a full adder using this device. Uh, and once again, it is seven by six. I'm um, sorry, six by six. Though, uh, technically, uh, if you want to get really technical, the inputs could be counted as as a seventh block, so it could be seven by six. But um, in reality, that the input is really not counted as a, as an input or as an extra block because it really depends on. Uh, the the type of input that you give could be different depending on um, the application for it. So I, I consider it to be 6x6. Six six. Uh, now here is the full ladder. Um, once again, it is twice the size or twice the length of the regular adder. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that thing that's feeding onto my mic, but I'm sorry, my my mic gets a little bit screwy sometimes. Um, anyway, uh, here's the outputs. I uh, sort of placed lapis lazuli blocks um, just to uh, emphasize which were the outputs because there's so many things beneath it that it could get confusing. Um, and by the way, guys, if this looks like a jumbled mess, that's because it is, um, it, there's, it's a bit chaotic. And I think that depending on the length of this, uh, you would not be able to continue it unless I came up with a different design that was slightly, um, longer in length, um, going that way. But anyway, um, so it still works the same. Let's try doing some basic arithmetic. Um, let's add, um, three plus 1. So currently the output is 3 because we're adding 3 plus 0 um, because 1, 1 in binary is equal to 3 as everyone that um, knows about binary can easily decipher. So this is 1, 1. Uh, and actually I should look at it like this because... Uh, wait, should I? No. I look at it. You should look at it like this. Never mind. Um, and then let's add one. And so now you'll see that the bits have all shifted. And now we get an output of one, zero, zero, which is four. Four. Uh, so one and zero, zero in binary is four. Uh, and let's try doing some big number plus another big number and try getting sort of uh, an overflow result. Uh, so let's try adding all these numbers together. This was one of the lines that I just didn't hook up because I didn't feel like it. And so now we have all these lit up. We're gonna have we're gonna be carrying it out. So uh I don't remember where the carry out is, but uh, I'm guessing it's over it might be this. But let's add one to it. Um by the way, what is this number? And this number is one plus so th this is uh let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's two to the sixth minus one. So that would be um hmm, well two to the fifth times two minus one. Anyway, if you really want to do the math out, uh you can go ahead and do that, but uh I'm gonna keep this video short and demonstrate what sort of happens once you get an overflow and as you can see all the outputs are off and so uh, if we can find the carry out I don't remember where it went I don't I don't remember where the carry out leads to I think I think it's this I think this is the carry out right here so oops this would be outputted as one zero zero as one zero 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 zero, which is two to the sixth. Um, so anyway, guys, um, this is a great design if you want um, to use this in an ALU for a computer that you're building in Minecraft. Um, it's very very compact, and although it's not an instant uh, adder, it's very small so depending on the application uh of your build or how you how you the specifications that you want for your build uh this is a very good one though if you obviously if you want an instant if you want it to be a very fat a very fast computer then you would have to sacrifice um size for speed so um Basically, I guess I can build it for you. Um, I'm not sure if I even remember because I built this a very long time ago. I wanted to make this a lot earlier. I wanted to showcase this a lot sooner, but um, summer ended and then uh, school started back up. So time set zero, just so that way we can do this during the day. And uh, so what you want to do is first you want to place your inputs uh then you're gonna wanna I'm just gonna place all the blocks first. Um so this right here with this and if it looks like I'm sort of drifting away from it that's because I'm looking at this trying to 
and jog my memory. Then you want to create a diamond sort of thing going on with a hole in the middle. And then uh, you want blocks just above this. And I believe that's all the blocks you need. So now you need to place your inputs. So this goes right here. Put a repeater up here. Those are your two inputs. You technically don't need this block. Uh, then what goes there? You need redstone right there. And then I'm guessing a torch goes right there. And uh, shoot. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's all coming back to me. Uh, torch goes right here. So this is actually an AND gate right here. If you uh, add this right here. And I know this seems sort of redundant, how you have two torches right here. And unfortunately, I couldn't really get rid of them. Because one is for the output and one is for modifying the um, carry out bit. And then we need this right here. This is what I'm forgetting. Uh, and then this. That's not right. Uh, oh, silly me. You have to make this a repeater because otherwise this uh, torch will power the uh, it will power it incorrectly. So now for the moment of truth uh, let's test it out. Uh, so 1 plus 0 equals 1. Uh, 0 plus 1 should equal 1. And then 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay, so it works. Um, it is pretty fast. Um, I think it takes 3 to 4 ticks at most. I think. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, uh, anyways, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed my compact design uh, and you want to see more of these compact designs, uh, then basically like this video. And if you have a challenge for me to make uh, smaller and better, um, leave it in the comments and I will try to do it. Um, whoever gets the most votes, I guess, will will be the winner. Uh, so until next time, guys, I, uh, my name is Limited Ward. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, peace.